All right, this week what we're going to do is we're going to do the third part of Sulem Tower, the punch and wrist roll, arguably two of the most important exercises within the system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into its various components. The first thing you do, you simply move your hand to the center of your chest. Make sure that the, the fist is loosely held and the knuckles are pointing in the direction of travel or just below. These are two common errors. In the first one, the hand is the wrong way around. In the second one, the hand is pointing up. In these pictures, the one on the left is it's far too high up the chest and the person will get his fists He's punched smothered by the um, enemy if the enemy moves in close. And in the one on the right, the knuckles are pointing off towards the right. You need to point them in the direction of travel. Just put your loose fist in the center. Then you extend out to contact range, which is a fist and a thumb from the elbow to the center. Then you fully extend the rest of the way. Just clench your fist and rock up the fist at three quarters of the way out and drive with your elbow. Notice here that in the picture, the knuckles do not rock up so much as straighten out in line with the rest of the forearm. You can see that the fist straightens and clenches on impact and drives through with the knuckles rocking up at impact and not before. It must be noted that this punch has been broken down into sections just so you can see it clearly. It is actually a continuous acceleration from one end to the other. The acceleration is right through the opponent. And not like in this, where you can see the person has not fully extended the fist and his wrist is too cocked up, so he'll hit with a small knuckle on the end of the hand and possibly cause himself damage. And now we will consider the wrist roll. The wrist roll is a very important exercise to strengthen the wrist against all kinds of attacks and when you use them again in an attack. First you put your hand out flat and then bend at the wrist with your hand still flat. Don't cut the fingers. You move in a complete circle until the palm is pointing down. Keep pressure on the wrist the whole time of the circle. You go until the fist is horizontal, then you straighten and clench the fist, as you can clearly, clear, clearly see in this one. And again, just so you can see it. Okay, some very common errors. In the first one, the person has turned too far and his shoulder has gone up. In the one on the right, he... He is uh, turning it too far and his elbow and wrist are both bent. On the left, the person is not bending the wrist enough, instead bending his fingers. In the one on the right, he's bent his elbow and his fingers and the wrist is not sufficiently bent. Sim now we are simply going to go into the neutral stance by pulling the elbow back. Once you are there, check everything is correct. Now we repeat it with the right hand, the whole thing. We bring our punch through, we flatten our hand, do the wrist circle, and then the elbow withdrawal back. Again, now that we're in the neutral training stance, check it all again. Here we're going to go through the whole complete section on both sides. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.